a very beautiful morning beautiful afternoon and beautiful evening to every one of you my professional nurses my professional colleagues so guys how have we all been i know we are all all right and i know we are all doing okay i'm super excited i actually got a lot of messages from my subscribers a lot of passes i must tell you guys i'm super proud of every one of you has passed your oski exam welcome to your band five rules and i like you to know that more than the sky is your limit and if you're meeting me for the very first time my name is violet okalecha i actually talk about everything about oski and nursing here in the uk if this is what you love if this is what you like stay tuned and watch to the end so guys come with me and let's talk about professional values i actually uploaded a video on social media so you can also check that out so for your professional values this is actually a silent writing station it's silent because you don't have to talk to anybody when you're doing this station you just have to concentrate and write all your points in bullet points and it is a writing station because you write you'll be given a pen so you don't have to take any pen to your exam you'll be given a pen and the time allocated to this station is what is 10 minutes so how would I encourage you to make sure your writing is very clear and is very what well, is very legible and make sure to complete all aspects if you make a mistake don't be anxious it is normal to make a mistake all you need to do is to give a single cross don't jaga jaga everything just give a single cross through the mistake you want you made and there are five scenarios in professional values of the five scenarios you can only get one in your exam so we have confidentiality we have drug error we have possible abuse we have professional confrontation and we have social media so i've popped up a video on social media so check it out and like i keep saying my videos is just a guide to guide you so i'll be giving my formulated scenario here and i'll be talking about drug error today so i would advise you to listen and you know get a juice drink listing and um, i'll be giving you an assignment my assignment is drug error take the case scenario i have given i have done today and write in the youtube comment section what would you have done if you were faced with this question in your exam i'll be happy to mark with as many people who will participate in it don't just copy my own just do your own using your own weddings all right guys so come with me and let's practicalize the skill okay so like i said you'll be giving a case scenario so once you get in on that day, your examiner can say to you, Violet, your next station is going to be um, drug error. Your case scenario is there and the document you're going to be writing is there. The time allocated to this station is 10 minutes. Do you have any question? Of course, you shouldn't have any question because it's a straightforward station. So your time starts now. So, and on the scenario, I'll give you the formulated scenario. So you will get the formulated scenario and you will get a document something similar to this you get a document something similar to this to write your words to write your points all right guys so write all your points and make sure you write it correctly so the i'll be giving my own formulated scenario now so just listen to my formulated scenario you were just about to commence your drug round when you notice your colleague giving a patient a wrong medication you went closer and you confirm that she was giving the patient the wrong medication and when you ask her she confirms to you that she has made a drug error as far as you know this is a drug error incident using your knowledge of nmc 2018 the code professional standard of practice and behavior for nurses midwife nursing associates consider the professional ethical and legal implication of this situation summarize the actions you will take in a bullet points write clearly and legibly and remember, like I said to you, this is a silent station and you have 10 minutes to complete this station. So the cocoa of the matter, the main point of the matter is the nurse has made a drug error. 
and you witness it it could come either that you witness it or either she came to report to you so what would you do you have to give your answers in bullet points so come to think about faith as a nurse in the clinical setting a colleague comes to tell you i've made a drug error i've given the patient another person's medication what would you do what would you advise her to do as a professional colleague that's what we're discussing today so i will advise her to pop it in the comment section i want to see it in the comment section so pop your answers in the comment section for me and um, let me just prickle you and bit and um tomorrow i will be dropping the video on what you should do <laughs> Oh my God. But taking into recognition, the duty of candle, take into cognition, reflection. When we talk about the duty of candle, we talk about openness, we talk about honesty. And when we talk about reflection, we talk about somebody that has made a mistake. You have to reflect on the mistake you make, trying to look into what made you make that mistake and trying to learn from that mistake so that you don't make that mistake anymore. So I will see you in my next video on professional values on drug errors and until then keep passing your oski pop your comments in the comment section tell me what you would do i can't wait to read your comments all right guys thank you very much i'll see you in my next video on evidence-based practice and until then keep passing your oski exam i love you all guys bye